Hi, this is Dan from Fine with a quick demo of how you can use AI agents to build software. So I have the inventory management system, a simple microservice with a few API endpoints to manage inventory and stock. Now, let's say that I want to add a few API endpoints to this microservice. So I'm going to start by writing the specifications for the task. Specifications provides the AI uh, context and instructions what to do and what needs to be changed in the code base. In this case, I want to write two new API endpoints. One is the products API, and the other one is the reports API, which provides some statistics and metrics for the user about the current status of the inventory. I also provide some technical instructions to provide context and clarity to the AI. Once I'm satisfied with the specifications, I can delegate the task to an AI agent. I open the palette and I will choose my agent. In this case, I'm going to choose the Python agent because the microservice is built in Python. I'm going to start the agent. And what's happening now is that the agent generating a plan, uh, a change list of what needs to be changed in the code base in order to satisfy the requirements. And it's going to take a few seconds. Awesome. So the agent created a plan and it's now waiting for us for our review. So the agent wants to create a test for reports API, which is great. It also wants to update the database queries to create a new test for the products API update the source models, and update the main file. Fantastic. I can obviously make changes to the plan, refine the instructions, provide additional, uh, additional guidelines. Actually, let's go ahead and remove this task. I don't want to create a test for products API. OK, once I'm satisfied with the plan, I can execute the changes. This will tell the agent to start execute the changes and implement them in the code base one by one. Now, this is going to take um, a minute or so. OK, so the agent is done running. And you can see that as soon as the agent is done executing the changes, I can review the generated code and even provide some uh, feedback and ask for uh, revisions. So we see that we have the database uh, changes, all the different queries. We see the new model. I see some importing changes. I see the new product API and the reports API. Fantastic. All there is left is to review the changes and test them, of course. So let's rerun the microservice. OK, let's refresh. OK. So we see that there is a new API product here, which is great. And we see the API report. You can see the example value and the schema, which is great. Let's see if it works. Execute. Oh, cool. Look at that. We have a valid response from the server. Fantastic. 